What's up guys, um, before we get to uh, today's video, um, I want to let you guys know, uh, just as a warning, it might be a little windy uh, today, I don't know, uh, it's just like, it's just really windy, but it is a nice day out though, I'm not going to lie, if, I mean, if, you know, camera will cooperate with me, you can see how nice it, a beautiful day it is, but um, I just want to let you guys know that, and hope you guys uh, are okay with me dropping one, vid one video a week, um, until I can get back into a flow of things. Um, just doing small things here and there. But without further ado, let's get back to the video. What's up guys and welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are having a great day today. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, like, and comment down below. We're almost at 100 subscribers. We're only 18 away. Yeah, only 18 away. Um, if life is not great too, to make it better because that's what we are about. And without further ado. Alright, so last time you guys saw me, uh, we did a POV. Uh, driving video going down my favorite road with my RSX. Now before that you guys saw me um, install my new shifter, uh, my new shift knob um, and at, after that time uh, a lot of things have changed to it. Well not a lot, just some minor things have changed uh, and that's what we're talking about today. We're going to be, to, we're going to be um, doing an update video on my RSX, um, where it is, how it's standing, and it hasn't blown up yet that's the best part about it because it's still reliable um and it's almost spring so um uh, one thing i will note right now uh before we get to the changes is that um these tires gotta go <laughs> these tires gotta go all of them do um they're dry rotted and as soon as the temperature rises it rises from the ground when the road gets hotter about to have blowouts galore and we don't want that so let's get on to it all right since i'm outside um uh since i'm outside i'm gonna go ahead and note the first thing um uh, i do have a hood bro um recently i just washed the car so i washed the car yesterday and uh before years there used to be a wrinkle right here uh but i got that straightened out and you guys can see there's no wrinkles anywhere yeah, I got the diamond stitching uh, hood bro which honestly for the look I'm going for looks really good so the pricing I got on that it was like around $60 uh, eBay um, yeah expensive as fuck but um, it looks good you know it wasn't too hard I had uh, my friend Jordan help me out uh, installing it um, and Alright, so right off the bat, you'll notice that I have um, a Mugen, I don't know what you want to call these, like door jams or whatever, but I have Mugen, uh, carbon fiber, um, little overlay, and oh my god, does it make a difference. And also, I um, also have the uh, DC5 um, uh, floor mats, like these little, it's just the small, it's just the small details that make this car awesome. It's like it just makes it so good like look at it it's like look at it like this this, this shit is amazing uh yeah but, uh, yeah yeah it's uh, camera all right so i it, it's time for a new camera but um like it just makes the car look that much better in my opinion like it's just so clean. I vacuumed everything out. Even got the back seats. I also have, um, uh, I also have floor mats in the rear, um, and all of that. And all of that, and it just looks, it just looks really good. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick cinematic, um, and it's just a small video. I didn't want to make it too drawn out or whatever. Uh, sure, to the point. Uh, and yeah, I got more things to come for the RSX. Just know that. I'm gonna hit you guys with this uh, set it back, and then uh, we'll take this home. Master Custom, welcome.
Alright, so we made it back home. Um, and I wanted to talk quickly about the R6 and what um, what's going to be happening moving forward. Um, I'm pretty much doing the bare minimum of doing like the interior, make it nice, uh, keep it simple. Um, as far as the exterior goes, um, I want to make it, I want to get the things that are missing. It's missing a fog light cover, but that's about it for the exterior. Um, I have three, uh, have three scratches, or it looks like claw marks, to be quite honest with you, on the rear bumper, and then my, yeah, the rear bumper is cracked, so, um, I don't plan on replacing that, because everything on the car right now has original, it's like original straight from factory, so what I want to do is preserve it, um, that's what I want to keep about this car that's unique, is having all the original body panels, um, because that's going to add, I don't know, it's going to add it's that one thing that I don't, you won't get to see anymore is the original body being used. So that's what I want to do. I want to maintain the original body. Um, just keep it simple. Um, I do know I'll be switching my uh, shift knob to a Mugen shift knob. Um, one that's a little bit taller because it's uh, sometimes it's hard to uh, throw it into the gear uh, that it needs to be in. And, you know, it could be better because sometimes it does hurt my arm to uh, get into, like, fifth or whatever. So I'm going to get, like, a taller shift knob, and it might help the throw feel a little bit better, too. Um, so that's uh, what I'll be doing with that. Just so it can match my door jams, the um, Mugen door jams, the carbon fiber, because um, carbon fiber the world. Um, so next up on the list is my sound system. And get my, win like, next up is the sound system window tent and then door speakers but that's a sound system so um and then just small things i really want me like one of those little uh handles uh i don't know what the proper name for them is but i really want one uh and i see my i saw my friend did it he also has an rsx type s um it seems like all my friends have type s's i have the base model that's crazy but um you know maybe one day <laughs> maybe one day but uh, pretty much just to keep it uh, simple, um, I do have a, I do know what I want to do with the car now because I love driving on the back roads. I want to have make it, I want to keep it fun. I really like it how it is now, but I need sound. I need just a little bit more power. I need sound, a little bit more power, and I want the looks. So um, I know exactly everything that I want to do. It's going to be really detailed. I want to make it my work of art. Like, that's my goal for this car is to make it one beautiful piece of art that has very, very, very large amounts of detail um, in everything, in every aspect. Um, this car is not going. This car is definitely not going to take um, one year to build. It's definitely not that uh, short of a project. It's a long project, and I have to save my money, especially for the suspension, because suspension for this car is ridiculous. You have your functional forms that goes around thousand bucks. BC Racing, thousand um, bucks. What else? Ten coilovers. I think those are thousand, a uh, damn near thousand bucks too. So you have the. Um, so I'm thinking about getting Yannicka. Uh, those go for around seven hundred. Uh, I'm not getting Godspeed. I heard terrible reviews. Um, though I was going to do it for the Accord. I'm not going to do that for the RSX. Uh, two, I guess. I guess it's reasonable to say that different cars handle uh, suspen handle different brand suspensions differently, um, and I just I guess the Godspeed just can't handle the RSX or whatever. But uh, that's what um, we'll be doing with that. Um, like I said, I'm doing the bare minimum this year. Next year, I told you guys I am trying. Like I have really big plans for next year. Move out. Have um, the RSX looking a little bit better. Uh, perform better and just have a lot more detail and that's what I really really want to go for is the details um, right now I have a, a list of things I need to get for the RSX but for this year I need tires um, I need tires and alignment I need the wheels balanced so I'm gonna get that way get my new wheels um, I'm gonna get used wheels I want 17s and see how the car performs on that because with the tire size I have now, it's 205, 55, 16. 
I mean, it rubs a little bit, but for what it does now is it handles really good. But um, moving forward, I will be running 17s on all, most of the cars that I will own. Obviously, the uh, my WRX is not going to be on 17s. It's going to be either it's going to be on 18s uh, because it's not going to be like when it's not going to be like my RSX is going to be what the R WRX is going to be, and every car moving forward. Um, it's not going to have 17s, you're going to have 17s or 15s, you know, because there's a list of cars that I want, and the WRX is next on the list, that's also my goal for next year, is to buy my WRX, and you have minimal mods to my RSX, so that's what you guys can expect going forward, I'll give you guys updates as I go along, um, I will probably be doing the sound system myself, because I really want to do it myself, save money that way, um, and yeah, that's what you so besides my mocha frappuccino right here that I got from Target when I was over there um, This is my new uh, piece of artwork that I made or just just finished it last night I was up really late, but you guys can see the details that it has like you can barely see it And that's what I was going for and yeah Looks really really good just how I imagined it um, it's gonna look way better with uh, when it's painted. When this version of it is painted, that's next for it. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you guys with the painting part, but um, you guys can see that on my Instagram or my Snapchat, which we, you can find down below if you guys want to follow me there. Um, and without further ado, don't forget to live life simple, follow your dreams, and keep working hard. Uh, if, if it's not great, tune in to make it better. Um, that's what we are about. We're almost at 100 subscribers. 18 left to go. Go subscribe down below because I have dope content for you guys. Um, I'm going to be trying to get um, some reviews of different type. My friends type S's. One of them is boosted, and uh, he's down. I think he's down to do a video. And uh, one of my other friends who has a static. Um, they're both static, but um, who also has like a who also has a type S. It's a daily. Oh my god. I think it's so much fun to try. Um, it's, it's, it's an experience, uh, I'll tell you that much. And they're both really cool cars, um, each in their own rights. Uh, but, eventually. So, without further ado, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Tune out.